Do you have dreams of creating your own slice of paradise, growing food and creating a sustainable homestead but you feel like it's so far away or that it's such a big goal and you just are impatient and you want to start now then today's video is going to be perfect for you. In this video I'm going to share 10 actionable steps that you can start doing today to make those dreams happen. Are you ready? Because your dream life starts now. There's so much that goes into creating a sustainable homestead and a lot of that you can start working on now which is going to make it so much easier and affordable when the time is right. All right, so number one is what are your goals? Write them down. What does your dream lifestyle look like? What are you doing every day? Do you have time to spend in the garden? Do you have time to go exploring? Um, sort of what it looks like, what it feels like, and also just what you do day to day, how that looks like. The great thing about having clear goals is that it gives you direction and it helps you when you have to make decisions along the way to know if those are aligned or not which is super helpful if you are someone like me and decision making is not your strong point then having a clear direction will make it so much easier to know is this going to help me towards my goal or is it going to take me further away so by starting at the end and working backwards um, you can really create this path on your way to your goals and will this change probably but at least it gives you some direction for now and you're not stuck just doing nothing and going in circles number two is make a vision board or something similar i make mine on canva and i do a collage of photos images texts anything that is going to align with those goals that we set in stage one and it's sort of a visual representation that you can look at every day i have mine on a home screen of my phone i also have it on the home screen of my computer and it just reminds me what i'm working towards and helps with my decision making this is a fun one <laughs> pay off your debts stop doing afterpay all of those credit cards cut them up pay off those debts because having this sustainable lifestyle and creating your homestead you don't want to have all of those debts weighing on you and causing financial stress don't buy things you don't need with money you don't have that's a mentality that i've always had on board so i have never really taken out loans other than student loan and and houses um, I've never done afterpay or any of those things and it's probably one of the reasons that I have barely any furniture in my house so if you've sort of seen some of my videos and wondered why my house looks bare that's why I prioritize my spending in other ways and it's not on furniture the bare basics which I'm going to work on this year because you can thrift get things secondhand DIY make some and have some beautiful furniture for little to no cost. Something that I did right at the start of my journey and my after stage one of figuring out what my goals were was to start paying off my student loan. It is something that a lot of people have hanging over them It's and not the first thing that gets paid off. But I guess one of the bonuses for me, if you think about it in this positive way is that because I left New Zealand I started incurring interest on my student loan so I was really keen on paying that off because that was just getting higher and higher without me paying it down um, and that wasn't going to get me any closer to my goal of being able to afford my dream property and create a sustainable lifestyle so one of the first things I did was I downloaded um, this PDF of debt free charts so I will find the link and pop it down below um, this was just a one page black and white document and it had lines on it so you could split up your total amount that you owed or that you were saving and put it into increments and then highlight the line when you finished it or when you had paid that amount and as a really visual person this really helped me and I just wanted to keep highlighting more lines off my debt free chart and another way that I did this was I set up some automatic payments that came out right after my pay would go in my payments would come out so then whatever was left behind I knew I had to pay all of my other bills like rent and food and all that sort of stuff um, and as I was going I was if I could still afford coffees and probably buying plants then I knew that I had excess money that I could then put towards my loan so I just upped my payments each time um, until I got to that point where I was like 
very much on the bare bones here um, this is all I can afford so I did that and I ended up paying my complete full student loan off and then I burnt that piece of paper and celebrated that win because it was a huge win um, and it was a really big step towards creating a sustainable life hard now and easy later number four after you've paid down your debts is to start saving start saving for your dream and I did this in a really similar way to my to paying down my student loan and I set up automatic payments into my savings and um, again with a chart if you want to create a chart even if it's just for a holiday um, you want to save up for a holiday these charts for visual people like me are really 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 handy but because you now know how much you can afford to pay towards those loans you can put that towards savings um, and those savings are going to help you you know on your journey whether it is to buy a property or to buy your first house or whatever your goals are um, you're going to need some savings behind you and having those vision boards on your phone um, my screen is like super cracked but so you can't see it but having those vision boards on your phone and on your computer screens are going to be constant reminders of why you're saving or why you're saying no to purchases because you want those savings to go towards your dream next up we have start growing food and you don't have to wait to start doing this at the stage you can start from stage one growing food um, and that doesn't have to be expensive you can start growing food in a small pot um, a container on your windowsill um, any recycled materials maybe even a bath or my compost bins both of those I got for free um, one is from the verge and one was from marketplace so there are some really great ways to start now start today and start for free um, get cuttings from friends um, plant seeds seeds are obviously affordable and seeds are quite tricky so learning the art of growing from seeds is going to go a really long way on your journey to create a more self-sufficient lifestyle learn learn and more learning this is going to be something that you're going to be doing across the whole journey even when you do get your homestead or your dream or whatever that is continuously learning is something that you should learn to love because it's going to continue to propel you forward so there's obviously so many places that you can learn and a lot of them are free so there's youtube podcasts um friends community community gardens um, you could also invest in courses or anything like that that's going to get you to your goal from people that know a lot more than you I was listening to this podcast the other day and they were talking about you are where you are for a reason and that is because you have lots more to learn and it got me thinking about if I suddenly had a big break and I managed to get hundreds and thousands of people joining my Garden Pipe membership, would I be ready? The answer is no, I would be overwhelmed because I have created this from scratch. It's something that I have been working on bit by bit and have thousands of people suddenly flood my website would be a little scary because I don't have those systems in place. It's something that I'm working on and it's something that I have to continuously build, develop and learn. And just like your dream homestead, would you be ready if you were suddenly dropped off grid on this big piece of land? Would you know exactly what to do? Would you know how to start building soil? Would you know how to care for animals? Would you know how to build infrastructures? Would you have the finances to be able to build a house or renovate a house or build the infrastructure needed to support that property and then what you need to do after learning these things is number seven take action taking action on what you've learned is going to really cement that it's going to help you remember it's going to actually make it become an experience and part of your knowledge rather than just something that you watched or read so take cuttings stick them in the ground put them in a jar of water, um, give it a go, start growing seeds, um, all of those things are going to be part of the learning process because if you want to start growing food um, there's going you're going to come across a whole range of things that you're going to have to overcome and that is sort of continuous each year there's something new this year there's new things for me 
um, different climates. We just had like huge wind last night, so learning to overcome those things that you might not necessarily have thought about until they happen. Another thing you can do is if you are going to be creating your homestead or whatever your dream is in the same state that you're in now or the same location that you're in now you can start growing plants to take with you so if you are renting or you are in a small small backyard you can start growing fruit trees and pots and then you'll be able to take them with you the same with plants and cuttings and seeds you can start learning how to bake and cook all of those valuable skills you're going to be able to take with you wherever you go number eight is surround yourself with like-minded people and community this is going to be a really rewarding thing and a really valuable part of your journey and it's a great way to connect with people that are at a different stage to you are further along than you know more than you you can offer to help out in the garden or if they are doing a certain activity that you've never done before help them out and um, get to know them and get to know their values it's all part of the learning curve and you may even be rewarded with seeds or cuttings uh, from their garden of special plants that you can't even find in the shops so having these relationships with people also means that when things pop up in the garden or problems you have others that you can ask about like have you encountered this do you know what this bug is um help and number nine is work on financing your dream everything in this world sadly costs money so we need to have our finances in order so that we can continue to grow our homestead and add to it does your current job or career support those goals and lifestyle that you set out in stage one or does it take up too much of your time or not light you up so always go back to what we did in stage one and that's going to help keep things on track so if the answer is no and it doesn't align and you want to do something different then start brainstorming start trying things take a look at this video on a hundred ways to make income from your property and i guarantee if any of those things excite you or light you up there is one actionable step that you will be able to take today to start working towards that goal whether that is just simply starting up a social media account and documenting your journey learning about it creating an audience so that when you do get to the point where you can start making bigger steps you have a base to to, to move from and you and it didn't cost anything what are you doing out of there number 10 is evaluate and reevaluate and this is sort of really where I'm at now I've gone through a lot of these stages I'm still working on a lot of these stages but I'm really reevaluating things at the moment because this is something that I've been working on for the last 10 years and so I want to make sure that my visions and my goals are still aligned and we're still on the right path because it has changed it definitely has changed and that's something I can't wait to document over the next year um, I still want to get a property that I can rewild I still have a lot of those same dreams but some things have changed and how I want to experience that and the lifestyle that goes along with it I think that's probably more so what's changed I um, I want to make sure that I've got time for adventures and exploring and some of the things I think that don't really align anymore are having lots of annual garden beds because those are a lot of work and I just love perennials as you know um, so that's something that's changed and also I used to want hundreds of animals like I wanted the whole Noah's Ark two of each farm park <laughs> um, and yes that would be great I love animals but animals are also a lot of work they are a big commitment and I think that that is something that I'm going to push, push further away for now because I want to still be able to go on adventures and camping and um, not invest all of my time and energy into animals but stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed because I can't wait to share the rest of this journey with you